Hey guys, I'm here to show you an active warm up that you should not leave the house without doing when you're going to go for a run and you could even use it for a walk. So it's really important that you do some kind of a warm up before you go out there, not just go running um, because you'll be less prone to injury and you will have a more efficient and faster run. So let's start with a leg swing. So the leg swing, you're gonna stand up nice and tall and you're gonna work on balance. You're gonna focus on something directly in front of you and you're just gonna swing your leg for 20 times. So stand up nice and tall, keep your core engaged. Good, keep going. 10, loosening up that hip, 11, exhale, 12, 13. And see, I'm counterbalancing by bringing my opposite arm forward. Keep going. 19 and 20. Okay, so let's switch legs. So focus on something directly in front of you. Stand up tall, core engaged, and go. So you're also working on ankle stability on the support leg, kind of engaging that glute as you bring the leg back. Really feeling that warming of the hip. Exhale, inhale. Keep standing tall, always considering that posture. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna do a left to right swing. So we're gonna stand up tall. Again, focus on something in front of you. And we're just gonna counterbalance by swinging the arms in the opposite direction. Now, if it helps you to hold on to something to just get a better swing, you can hold on lightly because I do encourage you to work on balance or you can hold your arms out, whatever works for you. But you're gonna start to feel the inner thigh and the outer thigh activating. So let's do about five more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're also kind of warming up the upper body too, because you do have to throw in those arm swings. So stand up nice and tall and go. Two, three, keep those abs tight. Consider your posture, keep that chin parallel to the floor. Have that mind-body connection of using that outer and inner thigh. Let's do about five more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, so the next move we're gonna do is we're gonna work, um, we're gonna start to open up the hips and the hamstrings. So I'm gonna show you two options. One is, um, if you're not as flexible, I'm gonna show you the option to use um, with the chair. So I'm gonna just grab the chair. You're going to have the option of grabbing the chair and you wanna get that chest to be close to perpendicular to the floor. So stack your shoulders over your hips and then you're gonna lift those hips back. So here's option one. Now, if you feel like you can go a little bit deeper into the stretch, you can get rid of the chair and you can actually place your fingertips on the floor, but you're not warmed up yet. So if you feel like this is really pushing it, just use the chair initially. And eventually, if you continue to work on your flexibility, you will be able to do this. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch on the front of the hip and the hamstring, the back of the thigh. Keep it going, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So we're gonna do about 10 of these. And I'm gonna guess this might be the 10th one. And then we're gonna switch the legs. So we're gonna take the opposite leg forward. You can use the chair if you need it. So let's really focus on lifting the chest and chin and then feeling that stretch in the back of the thigh. Inhale and exhale, and use your breathing as you're going through the movement, making sure you're not holding your breath. You wanna make sure you're nice and warmed up. 
It's getting really cold out there. And even in the summer, you still want to have a nice warm up. You'll feel so much more loosened up and more into your run. It won't be such a struggle that first mile. Keep it going. Two and one. Okay, great job. We're gonna stop right there. All right, I'm gonna show you an, a way to activate your glute and really get into the mechanics of a run. So what I'm gonna have you do, I'll turn the chair around. It's nice to be able to have an object that you can actually press and I'll show you what I mean by that. So you're gonna go into a reverse lunge and then you're gonna rise up onto the ball of the front foot and drive your hip forward. So you're, so you're activating the calf too. So you're gonna, let's do about 15 of these. Exhale, inhale, exhale, drop. Good, and it's really warming up those legs. Notice how I'm swinging my arms. Squeeze the glute of the leg your calf raising on. So in my case, it's my right leg. Exhale, inhale, keep it going. Let's do five more, four, three, two, and one, my fingers are ready to fall off, it's so cold. Okay, but I'm warming up, it's just my extremities. All right, let's switch legs. So go into that lunge, rise up calf. Good, exhale, inhale. Good, stay with it. Now you should really start to feel your butt firing up. We're also working on balance on this one. Exhale. You're gonna start to feel that heart rate come up. You got five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, let's do some squats. Let's do some air squats. We'll do about 10. Set the hips back, come on. Set the hips back, exhale. Make sure the knees are tracking on the outer edge of the toes. Exhale, nice and tall, keep the chest lifted, crown of the head to the sky. All right, so there you have it. This should have only taken you probably like seven or eight minutes. Quick, quick, easy active warm-up, you're gonna find your run is gonna be so much better. You're gonna be more in the mindset and you're gonna go faster. That first mile is not gonna kill you. Have a great run or walk and enjoy your day.